Today we'll be teaching you how to find intersections and zeros using a calculator. For our first example, we are given the two equations y is equal to the square root of x and y is equal to e to the negative 3x power. So on our calculator, we begin by pressing the y equals button and we enter both equations next to the y1 equals and y2 equals display on the screen and press graph to graph both the equations. In order to see exactly where the intersection is, we will zoom in by pressing the window button and changing both the x and y range to go from 0 to 1. So once you do this, press graph again and as you can see, the resulting image makes it much easier to see where exactly the two equations are intersecting. To calculate the exact intersection point, press second calc and once the calculate screen pops up, press 5 which says intersect. This will take you back to the graph and show a cursor with the question first curve at the bottom. Using the arrow buttons, move the cursor close to, but not exactly on, the intersection point of the two equations and press enter. At this point, the question second curve will show up on the screen, so move the cursor over to a point on the curve of the other equation near the intersection and press enter again. The calculator will say guess and just press enter until the display shows the word intersection. So for this example, the intersection point is at x equals 0.23873 and y is equal to 0 0.48860. Moving on to something that might look a little more complicated, we have the two equations y is equal to 5 times x to the third power plus 4 times x to the second power plus 1 and y is equal to sine x. So like before, we will begin by inputting both equations into the calculator and pressing the graph button. Once again, we'll need to zoom into the graph to focus on the intersection part. So in the first example, we used the window to zoom in, but for this example, we will be trying another method. So to begin, first press zoom, and once the zoom screen pops up, scroll down to 2, which says zoom in, and press enter. So after zooming in, we can see that the intersection point is much more visible, and from here we can simply use the same method from the first example to find the intersection point, again go to second calc, press 5 for intersect, and locate the first and second curve near the intersection point. Once you do this, you should get the answer for the intersection as x equals negative 1.10846 and y is equal to negative 0.89501. Moving on, we'll be now finding zeros using a calculator. So for this example, we will be taking one of the given equations from the second example. Like we did when we found intersections, we will need to first graph the equation. Zeros are points where the graph touches or crosses the x-axis. To find these points, you can use a function on the calculator, but first we will be zooming in to get a better picture of the graph. To find the zero, go to second trace and press two where it says zero on the calculate screen. To find the left bound point of the zero, use the arrows to move the cursor to a point under the x-axis and press enter. Do the same for the right bound, finding a point above the x-axis and pressing enter. Press enter once again when asked guess and you will find the zero for this example to be at the point negative one zero. Finally, for our fourth and final example, we will be finding the zero of the equation y is equal to 2 times x to the third root plus 3. So like all the other examples, we will be putting the equation into the calculator and graphing it first. So like the last example, to find the zero, go to second trace and the calculate screen will pop up. Click second for zero. And from here, you'll be asked to find the left bound point and the right bound point. So just find a point under the x-axis and then a point above the x-axis to find your zero. Press enter when asked guess and you'll find that the zero for this equation is at the point negative 3.3750. Thank you for watching.